because that's the first place to start. Here in Maryland, I know that um, kindergarten, pre-K is actually mandatory now. We have to, um, and, and there are ways that you can um, deal with that issue as, as well as immunizations. Um, I've talked to quite a few homeschooling um, families who do not immunize. And as long as your children are not actively going to public school or private school, um, you do not have to give as much explanation with immunization um, because they're not going into public schools, they're not going to be around the other children. Immunizations are actually pretty much up to you whether or not you want to um, comply with that. And again, that also has to do with what state you're in and um, what your particular state requirements are. Um, in my home, we don't immunize. Um, we decided not to do that. It's not something that we um, that we really were considering at any time. So it's not an issue for us. So homeschooling um, or unschooling, as some people call it, um, is very conducive to our lifestyle. Now, as far as curriculums are concerned, I know a lot of people are into package curriculum, um, and uh, initially I did look toward um, a package curriculum when I first got started. As I said, I was kind of filling out things on my own, and there are tons and tons of um, religious-based curriculums as well as secular curriculums, if you want to call them that. Um, keep in mind that this is your program. And when looking for resources, keep in mind that a lot of the homeschooling resources are free. They are absolutely, positively free. Now, I have some websites that I would like to share um, when, when you're looking at coursework. Um, because in my state, definitely have to keep copious records um, because in my state it is required that we have a review twice a year, which I comply with because I am using a voluntary curriculum rubric um, that is based in my state. One of um, the websites that I really love, and I am going to add them to the chat room, is www.freemathtest.com. And the reason why I love this particular website, I really enjoy working on the things in this website, is because of the freedom that it allows you to make your own um, tests. It allows you to make sure that your child is on point with what you are teaching and also allows you to keep records. Now, I'm not a stickler for rules and regulations, so please, anyone that's listened to this, do not think that Sister Moo is sitting down here stressing out over, oh, goodness, what am I going to do today? Never that. I am sharing this information to say two things. One is that it can be done, and it can be done on a budget. And two is that as long as you take care of what your state requirements are, the rest is really your thing. If you are a hands-on person and you believe that your child is hands-on as well, give them that. But make sure that you're able to provide what your state requires of you as well. And it really doesn't take a lot to do that. Um, edhelper.com, that's E-D-H-E-L-P-E-R.com is another really great site to check out for homeschooling material, as well as families who may want to put their children in school part-time um, until they get to the point where someone is at home full-time to give them instruction. 
www.tlsbooks.com is another really wonderful site. Everything on the site is free. All of the sites that I am giving you are free educational sites. They have interactive information as well as free printables and downloads for your homeschooling activities. Um, very easy to use, very easy to manage. One thing that I cannot stress enough is that this is something that all families can do. Um, one of the biggest questions that I'm always asked about homeschooling is, how do you make your bills <laughs> if there's only one person in the house working? Now, homeschooling does not have to be a financial burden. And I understand that some people choose to make classrooms in their homes. They want to have decorative boards and border. They want to set up a particular room in the house or more than one room in a house to look like a classroom setting. And that, yes, will cost money. What I'm talking about is very basic. Free printables, free downloads, interactive games, educational sites, books that you can get from thrift stores, um, free book sales, freecycle.com. Um, there are so many resources that you can take advantage of as a homeschool parent, as a homeschool family that are absolutely free and low, low, low cost. Homeschooling should not be a financial burden. So no, it we're looking, no, it shouldn't. <laughs> it really, really shouldn't. Um, as far as I'm home, I. I don't have a, a home classroom, so scratch that. I have a table, a chair, I have books, I have my materials, and we roll from there. Go ahead, Sisters Um, You know, um, I'm going to give another site. This is a blog site someone started, but it has links to so many free sites and information for your family, mm -hmm. and it's free homeschooling 101. Dot com. And that's free homeschooling, ing, 101.com. And this site is kind of like a listserv. You can go on there and it just tells you all kinds of free things that has been found and this person just collects it. And it's on a blog site, but it's very helpful information. Also, another good one is spellingcity.com. And this one you can read, you create your own spelling list. Um, if your child is in school or there's a school in their area, you can see some of the schools will post spelling lists that the kids their age group is doing so you can have an idea of where you're at. If you're above, below, or, you know, if you can play around and make your own spelling list. And then your children can go online and they can make their have games and different things to practice their spelling words. Um, so those are two additional sites. And one thing we're going to say we love to get our, most of our supplies from or dollar stores. They will be your best friend. I know I probably went to my local dollar store and spent $50. But I walked out there with so many charts and posters that if I would have went to a learning store, I would have spent $10 easy on each of these posters. And I'm not talking little, you know, you know I got posters with alphabets on them. They have words, numbers, multiplication, division, adding, subtracting, the state capitals. I got money, money print, money cutouts, um, calendars, paper, construction paper. Please keep plenty of glue sticks, glue bottles, scissors. These kind of things. When you go somewhere and you see them for a little bit of nothing, grab them. They're gonna come in handy because you never go without pencils, crayons, markers. You always have these things if you stock up on little stuff, paper books, I mean, just little workbooks. So if you're out and about and, you know, your children are bored, you have a little workbook. It may not be your part of your curriculum, but it's something they can do to keep them busy. Um, but everything I'm, is part of your curriculum when you homeschool. 